Breaking news in the last hour. A man has been arrested in the case of a missing 13-year-old. You are looking at video of Stefan Stearns, who has just been arrested. Thanks for meeting me tonight at 11. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. We're following that breaking news tonight. And here is video again of that man being taken away in handcuffs. Deputies say he is the boyfriend of the missing girl's mother. Stearns is believed to have been the last person to see Maddie Soto on Monday. Hannah McKenzie is joining us live in Orange County tonight. And Hannah, this news we're just now learning about so unfortunate. Unfortunate to say the least, Marlisa Stefan Stearns has now been arrested for sexual battery and possession of child sexual abuse material. Now we've got video showing Stearns being taken out of the Orange County Sheriff's Office along with two deputies taking him there and putting him into the back of a police patrol car. Stearns is the boyfriend of Maddie Soto's mother, Jen. He's also believed to be the last person to see Maddie Soto when he allegedly dropped her off at school on Monday. Maddie Soto was supposed to arrive at Hunter's Creek Middle School. She never made it. And that um, was the last anyone seen of her or heard from her? Yes. Um, I went to pick her up after school um, and she wasn't there. Um, so I started driving around, trying, maybe thinking she took a walk. Maybe she decided to walk to my mom's office, which is pretty close to the school as well, drove around and I didn't see anything. I drove back to the school, the school was closed. I emailed one of her teachers. They confirmed that she was absent all day. At that point is when I called 911 because I realized something was truly wrong. Now, during that interview, you may have noticed a man sitting in the background there. That is Stefan Stearns. Orange County Sheriff's Office investigators say they found disturbing images on his phone, as well as attempts to delete those images. Digital forensics detectives were able to determine that the crimes were committed at the family's home in Kissimmee. Orange County Sheriff Mina told us earlier that a search warrant was being executed there today. All right, so Hannah, you were there during that interview. You saw Stearns. Can you tell me what his behavior or demeanor was like? Well, Marlisa, it was a little odd, and I did think that from the beginning. He came in and he made his presence known. He dropped the chair onto the ground before he sat in it, and he kind of just sat back behind Jen Soto throughout the entirety of that interview. And he was cracking his knuckles. At one point, you can hear him popping them while just fidgeting with his hands the whole time. Now, I just got off the phone not too long ago with Jen Soto's sister. That's Maddie Soto's aunt. She tells me, of course, this is very disturbing news and it is very worrying for the family. Now their focus is just on finding Maddie. We're in the area where she was last seen now and it's really difficult, Marlisa, to even find a parked car or a pole that doesn't have one of these flyers plastered onto it. So they're really just asking anyone who has seen Maddie, may know of where she was, may know of where she is, where she's been, to call the sheriff's office, call 911, call Crimeline, just call whoever you, you can with any sighting of Maddie Soto. Marlisa. Hannah, thanks so much for that update.